Well, when you talk about art, there's the Walker, MIA, and plenty of other great art museums in Minnesota. And tonight, there's a new one. And perhaps the world's smallest self-contained art gallery. It's called the Artomat. There are nearly 100 across the country, and one of the most successful is right here in Minneapolis. James Shugel shares the story behind it and the success local artists are having with it. What was once old is now new again. Cigarette machines of yesterday found in bars and restaurants are now stylish and sophisticated. You would buy a token at the counter, yep. at the front desk. Five bucks. Five bucks. So you want to give it a shot? They're filled with anything but cigarettes. Make these flip books. I've been making these for about uh, 10 years. And I'm a book artist, and so did this little book called Art Babble. Artwork from local and regional artists the size of a pack of cigarettes is what you get. My goal is... I want to share this with the world. Clark Whittington created Everybody his first Artomat 13 years ago. So this is rare. He found this machine in a Texas barn. Most of the time these things are so beat up of this era. This still has the faux wood laminate all over it. So it's kind of cool looking. He's removed rust and dust from 88 cigarette machines and transformed them into his art vending machines. A lot of people like pulling these knobs, right? It brings them back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, People just love the feeling of something that mechanical. This one's in La Meridian Chambers Hotel. He custom designed it just for this place. This is actually one of the best selling automats in the entire world. In fact, they have to refill it every two and a half weeks on average. These are original works of art that have a, a human behind them making them that you can contact and actually say, hey, tell me more about your work. So here's my business card. Minneapolis artist Jody Reed Myers uses the automat to market her work. It's a set of small villages. Yeah. And I have had people interested in buying larger work. It's helped so, you. It has. It has. 400 artists have embraced the Artomat. Clark hopes to add more. And luckily, it keeps growing. We're doing all right. <laughs> Living proof one person's trash is another's treasure. It's a great idea, I think, it's recycling cool. that, yeah. Now, tomorrow you're invited to a swap meet at the hotel. Clark and other artists will be there to talk about their work. For more information, go to wcco.com slash links. And the thing you're looking at right there is a piece of art that James brought back for us. It's a cool drawing of the Whitehall extract plant by an artist named Melinda Barnes. So it's kind of cool. I love the... Uh, the surprise, the randomness. Of yeah, what, yeah. What are you yeah. going to get, you gonna get? You gonna for your five yeah. bucks? You know? Yeah. So that's kind of cool. And in a related story, you can now buy cigarettes at art galleries. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I made that it's up. It's all <laughs> come full circle. Yeah, that's why I do the weather. <laughs> there must not be a lot going on today. <laughs> it just isn't. <laughs> it took all day to come up with that one. It really did. <laughs> Congratulations. Ooh, no, that is a big winner. That is really that cool, cool, though. I love it. Yeah. yeah.